Good morning, Warriors. It's Deja. And it's Ash. Welcome to the 16th edition of Wakefield Action Media. Happy New Year, Wakefield. Why not try some new things in this new year? Learn a new trick. Remember, it can be difficult when trying to do something new for the first time, so keep practicing. Hi guys, I'm Emerson and I'm from the Wakefield Gymnastics team and today I'll be teaching you how to do a cartwheel. First, you're gonna put your dominant leg out front and put your arms by your ears. To get the feel for how to properly transfer the weight from your feet to your hands, it can be helpful to try a handstand first. You can try to kick over and therefore completing your cartwheel. Follow us on Instagram at wakefield.gymnastics for more. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make some origami. For example, like this one. First you're going to get a square piece of paper, then you're going to fold it diagonally. Then you're going to fold on the line made, and then you're going to flip the paper so that you can fold on the, on the line on the back. Then you're going to fold the thinner side to the wider side. Fold back a small piece, then fold down sideways, then fold up the neck, and then fold up the head. I'm Gabe. I'm Asian. And we're going to teach you how to make a three-pointer every time. Step one, elbow in, flick your wrist, and hold your follow-through. Step two, you want to bend your knees, get your leg shoulder width apart, and jump. The most important thing is, the more practice you get, the better you'll be. So make sure you keep shooting every day. Set a goal. Everyone is making New Year's resolutions. Can't think of one? Try to think about where you want to be next year. This is Nanaya. And this is Sophia. And we're going to ask seniors what they're going to do a year from now. I'm here with Benan, um, and I plan to be a psychology major. What's your name? Cam, and I see myself in one year playing football in college. I'm here with Chris, and I'm planning to go to real estate school after high school. What's your name? Charles, and in the future, I see myself in Norfolk State uh, doing shotgun discus. I'm here with Jablin, and I see myself going to college and studying psychology. New year, new you. The new year for most is a time of self-reflection and new beginnings. I'm here with Jalen. What are your goals for 2024? Uh, stop procrastinating and get my work turned in on time. I'm here with Martin. What are your goals for 2024? Uh, getting better grades and uh, getting more pieces for my closet. I'm here with Ashley. What are your goals for 2024? Uh, to grow my photography business. I'm here with Savonius. What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, get money. I'm here with Peter Ballas, principal of Wakefield High School. All right. What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, I think my New Year's resolution is going to be to um, find a better balance uh, between work and personal life. I'm here with Connor and Amari. What are your New Year's resolutions? Mine is to stop door dashing food. Uh, mine is to stop wasting money. Good, Good luck, luck in the New Year's, year's Warriors. Start a new habit. Here are some ideas for you to try. Add a stretch to your morning routine. Stretch the muscles you use most often like leg, shoulder, and neck muscles for five minutes. This will make you feel more awake and ready for the day. The first stretch is a calf stretch. What you do is you put your foot up against the wall, lean forward. You do this for 15 seconds on each foot. The second stretch is a shoulder roll. For the shoulder roll, you move your shoulders forward and backward in a circular motion for 10 seconds. The last stretch you can do is a neck stretch. What you do is you move your neck in a circular motion each way for 10 seconds. Hope, Hope you, you add, add these stretches, stretches into your morning routine. routine. Here are some, some tips to help set personal, personal boundaries. boundaries. Number one, being able to clearly communicate both wants and needs. Number two, respecting others' values and feelings. Number three, being able to say no and accepting when someone else says no. Number four, staying cool and calm during tough situations. 
Set limits for yourself and others to get more balance. In this new year, volunteering can bring you joy and better our community. Can you tell us a little about your club? We make cards for sick kids in the hospital and we do different themes just to kind of lift up their spirits while they're in the hospital. How often do you guys meet? We meet every other Wednesday in the library after school. I'm Natalia and I'm the Vice President of Best Buddies. I'm Brita. I'm Brita, I'm the President of Best Buddies. I'm John, I'm the Chairman of the Board of Best Buddies. And what do you guys do in your club? Best Buddies is a club that fosters one-to-one -one friendships between people with and without developmental and intellectual disabilities. What does your guys' club be? We meet during Wars Period right outside of C240. On Thursdays! Join Best Buddies! Buddies. Yeah! That's it for this week. See you next Wednesday for another exciting, exciting edition. edition.